Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve number word problems. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We have a problem here. Find three consecutive integers whose sum is negative 54. What is a consecutive integer? Well, numbers that come really right after each other. One, two, three, negative five, negative four, negative three. So that's the uh, basics of consecutive integers. But how do we find three whose sum is negative 54? Well, let's break apart what we know. Consecutive integers. Well, let's say my first integer is n. What's the second one? Well, it's consecutive. So we have to add one to the previous number. So the first one, let's call n, first integer. The second one would be an n plus 1. And the third one here, well, we want 3, right? So we have n, n plus 1. We do n plus 1 is plus 1 from the previous one, right? So that's a n plus 1 plus 1, which really is kind of silly to write. We would just write 1 plus 1 is 2, the oldest math trick in the book. Now they tell us we have three consecutive integers whose sum, we got to add them all together. And you can put little parentheses around this if you want. Is equal to negative 54. Well now we set up an equation here with a variable, just one variable, and we can solve for that. Let's simplify this. How many n's do we see? One, two, three. We have three n. One plus two gives me a three as well. And that equals a negative 54. We're solving for n here. Minus 3 to both sides. And we have 3n. These cancel here. And negative 54 minus a 3 is a negative 57. We now divide both sides by 3. Opposite multiplication is division. 3's cancel. And we have n by itself. And negative 57 divided by 3 is a negative 19. So we have our first number, negative 19, but we want to find all three consecutive integers. So if our first number is negative 19, we want to add 1 to that to get the next one, that's negative 18. And then add 1 to that, we have negative 17. Be careful, a lot of times students will go to negative 20 and negative 21. Consecutive integers, we're going, we're adding 1 to it. So we have three integers here. We can kind of double check that. You, I'm sure you can add it yourself there. But negative 19 plus negative 18 plus negative 17 does equal a negative 54. And so there we have it. We got our answer here. Negative 19, negative 18, negative 17. I hope you learned something about consecutive integers and how to solve number of word problems. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.